In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a front caliper on your Toyota Camry. Let's get started. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the lug nuts. And remove the wheel. Install a drain bucket under your caliper. Using a 14 millimeter socket, we're gonna break the banjo bolt free. Using a 17 millimeter socket, remove the caliper bracket bolts. Using a bungee cord or a hanger, we're gonna hang the caliper. Pull it off of the rotor. I'm going to hang this off of the strut. We're just trying to make it so there's no tension on this brake hose. We're going to be reusing our pads, so we're going to remove them out of the old caliper. Like so. Using a 14 millimeter socket, separate the caliper from the caliper bracket. We're gonna pull our slides out, put a little lube on them, reinstall it. Do the same thing on the other one. Put a light skim coating of grease in these valleys for the shims. Do the same on the other side. Install the shims. Included in the new caliper kit is these tabs. We're gonna install these onto the brake pads. We're gonna put them on the bottom and they key in and they'll snap on. You want the bottom flat tab facing in. Install the caliper bracket, get the bolt started. Snug them down. Torque the caliper bracket bolts to 80 foot pounds. Install the pads. Put the caliper over and I'm just going to install the top bolt for now. I'm going to flip this caliper up. 
there's these two V springs that will sit in the back of the pads. There's two holes for them to go into. Do the same thing on the bottom. When you do this, you have to keep holding pressure on the pads or else they're going to try and just push apart, which is what the springs are there to do. Once you have them installed, flip your caliper down. I'm just going to put a little bit of grease on the piston where it will sit on the pad. Swing the caliper down and install the bottom bolt. Snug down the bolts. Torque the caliper bolts to 25 foot pounds. Remove the banjo bolt. Be sure you have both crush washers. We're going to take one off and leave one on the bolt. Remove the union bolt out of the old caliper. Remove the old crush washer off of the line. Install the new banjo bolt with our one crush washer, then install the other one on the other side, and then get the bolt started in the new caliper. Using a 12 millimeter socket, snug down the new banjo bolt. We're going to get it to bottom out, then we're going to go about quarter to half more turn to crush those washers. And to double check, you can check and see if it's around 21 foot pounds. Use a rag and some parts cleaner and clean up any of the fluid that dripped out. So make it so you can see a leak right away. Remove the bleeder cap. Using an eight millimeter socket, we're gonna break the bleeder screw free. And we'll wait until there's a steady stream of fluid flowing out of here with no bubbles. And then we'll retighten it. Once you have a steady stream of fluid with no bubbles, go ahead and close the bleeder screw. Snug it down with your wrench. Clean off any fluid and reinstall the bleeder cap. Install the wheel and get the lug nuts started. Snug down the lug nuts. And we'll torque the wheel on the ground. Torque the lug nuts in a star pattern to 76 foot pounds. and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.